Hello, I'm Thomas Bartram, and today we're going to candle some eggs. I've uh, got them in the incubator over here to the side, and what we're going to do is, it's on day seven today, and we're going to candle these things, a few of them. I've uh, gone through them, checked them, and I'm going to do my best to show you what day seven is going to look like if you're doing uh, some egg incubation yourself. Uh, these are chicken eggs, a mix of Isa Brown and Rhode Island Red. So basically these things have been in here now for seven days, as I said, and have uh, been coming along quite nicely. A few days ago I did a video at day five, and you'll see it down in the, the description below. You can click on it there or I'll link it in the uh, video over here. Let's get down to business here, shall we? Now for a warning, we may hear the alarm on this thing go off as I start through these. Uh, I think I'll show you the uh, a few of the really good ones that I found that's going to show you quite a bit to begin with. So this one, get it over here to where we can see it best. All right, now, if you notice, there's vein, veining started up in here. Notice that? All the way around. See the little black dot right in there? That's actually the embryo moving around, the little baby chick. The dark area at the bottom is actually the yolk. And that's the beginning of day seven. On this one, again... Notice the little dark spot there moving around. That's the embryo, once again, moving around. With darker eggs, it's harder to tell until they start moving around like that. Uh, sometimes you can see, sometimes you can't. The lighter the egg color, the easier it is to see. The very top, you're going to notice the air pocket. That's the brighter color. And again, down here, the bottom is the yolk. And in between is where the babies are growing, baby chick. And again, <laughs> there's the embryo, loud and clear. The veins you can see real good on this one. On this one, again, there's the baby chick starting out, the embryo. Get it hold still, the veining around. Quite a bit of it you can see at this point. The air sac at the top. Now this one's not as well formed just yet, but you can see the veining. There, it's pretty clear. And again, here we go. Get you lined up in the, there we go. The embryo a very good shot of it there in there got veining you can see real good all the way around now what we're going to see here is what we don't really want to see this is what is referred to as a lava lamp and <laughs> basically there's nothing going on in that egg there's not even a dark spot in it now this one Although you see a dark area here, that's just the yolk. Now this one, again, you can see it a little better in that picture right there. Looks like a dark area, but that's a red ring that comes around the egg all the way on the inside. Again, that was day seven's uh, candling. Most of them looked like the first uh, batch that I put through. I think I've got about six or seven that either has the red ring or was infertile to begin with. And basically the rooster didn't get with the hen at that time or she had run out of uh, the good stuff and um, just ended up with an infertile egg. It happens and that's why when you hatch out eggs, uh, chicks on your own, there's always going to be a percentage that doesn't make it. Um, 
good hatch rate, a real good one, is in the 80s, 80% 80 range. Um, for most backyarders or most homesteaders, the hatch rate is probably going to be closer to 60, maybe even 50% if they've got a good incubator like this one. And it all is dependent upon how good the uh, eggs are fertilized. Choosing your eggs when you go to choose the eggs sometimes is the other problem. Uh, you get in, you have different sizes and some of them will form faster than others. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your eggs. Um, you never want a real big egg when you're dealing with chicken egg. So uh, next time I think we'll probably wait until uh, about day 12 about five days from now and we will uh, check them again then just for fun. If you all enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button down there and uh, it always helps to have more viewers out there. Uh, hit the like button and if you want to say something go ahead send me a comment or two. Tell me what I'm doing wrong if you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.